subscribe. subscribe. Oh, no. Got here the Novo T420 and Bias Lock. Power on. Straight to the lock. So, yesterday night, I did a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch, like four T430s. And the, uh, there were jumpers in this area. So it wasn't necessary to, uh, disassemble the whole case. But, as you can see, well, there's no, there's no place for me to jump it, right, in this access panel, so I'm gonna have to take everything apart and show you how I do that. Yeah, so, looking at the schematics, I mean the board feel, there's no uh, way to avoid this assembly with the way it's set up. I could really cut a hole in the bottom and <laughs> rock out like that, but um, seriously though, yeah, this is symbol. The chip is right about here. So yeah, let me get to it. Schematics up, right? Um. So I'm assuming that pin, because pins one and two are unconnected, five and six, the data lines are the pins we need to short. And let me see. Ha ha ha. Let me see if I can find an area where I can short these at. All right, y'all, so I might have found something useful, so I'm going to show the schematics first, actually, before I go to the device. So this right here, SMB data, S pin 2 on U22, and then you got SMB clock, that's pin 1 on U22, right? Or it might be vice versa, I'm not sure. Either way, um, this is U27. I can access it without removing everything. And SMB data has a, uh, a access like point right here. I can short that right there. SMB clock has a pin right here. Now you see U27 right here. I can get that bad boy right. So what I think. thinking is and that's it I can't really show you but this would be the middle one right here I'm gonna show y'all the middle one right here and then this point right here is where I'm gonna short it All right, it works, guys. Now I was messing up so much was at first, so I got two hands, right? I was trying to use this to get like a bigger um, point to touch with the tweezers. My other hand, I needed to hold the tweezers with to connect the, the pad to the um, short point. And then I needed to press the power on button and I need to press the 
the F1 kick. So I needed about three or four hands only had two. So ended up just using the tweezers. I kind of got the hole a little bigger with this. I slowly kind of wedged it in there and then uh, made like less than a millimeter, less than like half a millimeter bigger just to get that tweezer in there a little bit better and then um, kept that gap between the, the short point and as soon as I turned it on, connected the uh, the tweezer to the point, to the point right, to the point right here. So from right here to right here, that's where I shorted it up. And yeah, now I'm about to just change everything on the BIOS. So I wanna go security password. I want to change the password. I've been doing Q QWERTY one, Q W E R T Y one. Oh, my mom called me. Hello. So you set the password. And then what you want to do is disable everything. Disable. 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 You want to press um, OK? Restarts. You want to wipe the password. I ain't gotta do nothing on the computer to trace it actually. Um, and then we're gonna disable it. All you're gonna do, hit enter, enter, enter. F10, enter. That's that's the first one. I got like I got about five more to go. Sad news, y'all. All those fires got all five of those got no like major issues, no cracked screens. So all five gotta get fixed. And all five had box locks. That's what which I mean by getting fixed. Now back to the regular program at hand. All right, y'all, now everything's back together. I got an SSD up in here. I want to try and install the Windows 11. If I got a four gigabyte DDR3 stick laying around, I'm definitely going to do it. Let me see what I got right now. Cool. Got two gigabytes. All right, I got one in my opinion, because I can just as easily install Windows 10 before it gets, but no. Right. I'll make sure you have five moves on. Secure boot, all that stuff, good stuff set up.
shit. Gotta plug it in. Fucking genius. I am a fucking genius. I'm a genius. When it loads, I'll be back. Oh, man. You fucker. You fucker. All right, fuck it. When it was 10, it is. All right, what's going on, y'all? Uh, back here. Just going through the setup real quick and then update the drivers. And y'all good to go after that. I take the USB out once I'm done with it. I wonder if y'all heard that fart. I did a bug. Always say I don't have internet. I always put user. Some people like to do home. Actually, let's get the time and date right. And then let's go to settings and do the updates. While that's loading, let's try to activate it. Now there actually is a Windows 10 product key. So let's try to troubleshoot and see if it's gonna um, get us right automatically. What the fuck? All right, so let's say Windows is not activating it. If it has a product key for Windows 7 or up, it's gonna work with Windows 10 too. Um, all you gotta do is just usually take the battery off and then you can um, just go ahead and uh, get the product key doing such see if it works it should change from not activated to activate it before this even pops up let you know what goes on thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand thirty it's activated for digital license cool good to go updates then we're gonna go to optional updates and get the drivers too yeah wi-fi i can't i can't even use the um two fingers to scroll yet because i don't have drivers for the mouse it's like little stuff that's not going to be uh completely functional until you get the right drivers for the device so that's why i always get the drivers download and install it's all optional though but if you're going to be uh selling stuff always get the drivers Unless it's obviously like an issue with the driver that's well known and, or that you know about yourself. And yeah, once that's done, it's all ready to go. All right, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please subscribe, like, and comment. Again, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. Um, yeah, I'm out.